This is Dapu 7, and we have what is potentially the next false flag event that has just taken place inside the Navy Yard, inside D.C. We've had six people confirmed dead, ten people wounded. Uh, among those, a police officer, and they say that the initial suspect, which was wearing all blue, has been shot and killed. Now, as always, there's conflicting reports when these things first break loose, but what we're getting so far is that the initial gunmen started opening fire inside on people as they began to run outside and that there was also a shooter from the fourth floor overlooking the cafeteria now they're saying that there were multiple shooters the one has been killed and that there are two more that are on the loose they have put at least eight schools in the surrounding areas in lockdown and as you can see from the photos here They're everywhere. And this being a military installation, there was only three ways in, three ways out. One was for civilian, monitor 24-7 and guarded. Uh, the other is for a bus line that isn't open 24-7. And the other is for the military. All of them are on tape, guarded. And they're saying that although these men were wearing fatigues, they were wearing camo gear that they do not believe they are part of the military. Now, we had, I predicted this a while back as one of the next false flag shootings. In essence of having a multiple ethnicity background type group where you have whites, blacks together in a militia style type shooting and I figured that it wouldn't be against the school unless they were really trying to hold hostages. It would be against cops or enforcement or a government facility like what has happened today and they've done just that they have brought in what they are going to label domestic terrorist and pulled off the shooting and it reminds me of sandy hook right out the gate because your initial shooter is shot and killed there's you'll never get a statement or any kind of story out of them and the other two shooters that people had seen in fatigues just like sandy hook with long rifles disappear so you're on a military base, shots are fired, and apparently there's still two guys on the loose here. This isn't good. They say that, you know, the one guy was a white man wearing a beret, and the other was a black man in his 50s uh, wearing olive-colored fatigues, and he, and he had a long rifle. So that's the description on the the two that are loose young white man in khakis and a older black man with a long rifle so that's what they're looking for and that is the description of these domestic terrorists so that's what they're going to label and mark my words guys i'll leave links as this whole thing unravels i'll stay on top of it and keep you guys updated till next time eyes open this has been Dabu 7 with some underground world news.